Welcome back with another video in the fundamental aspect of Linux user management. So I have divided this video in three important parts. The first part related to the ID, which is the UID and group IDs, user ID and group IDs, and about the main important files that you have to understand about that. The second part is about how to create a user and delete the user and even how to change the passwords also. But the last part is very important for how to modify the existing user. So without wasting more time, let's begin this tutorial. The first thing that in the Linux, each user assigned a unique ID, which is a UID also called a user ID. When you are creating any username or any group IDs, it created a unique IDs for each and every user. So there are three types of user in Linux. Basically, the first user is the root, the which is a top level uh, root username and the root is a admin user, which basically received a first UID, which is zero. And if you want to check that any user ID or any UID for any any user inside the Linux, you can simply type ID and the username like ID for root it's always be a zero so when you are installing any linux device a linux operating system the first username has been created as a root then there is a system user so system is user is not for login purposes it's used for making a background application running and some task and special task also so system user you can create also by uh, uh, I mean by mentioning whether it is a system user or the normal user and there is a some there is a range that you can give you can create a system user there is almost like thousand user you can create a system users and it starts from 1 to 999 I mean you can create between this uh, UID it is reserved for the system user and then there is a normal user which is r like for login purposes like you are creating a username for anyone right you are an admin user and you are creating for other users they that user is a normal user and there is a range reserved for that which is thousand to sixty thousand means you can create a sixty thousand normal users and this is very simple when uh, basically let me show you how to check how many user name is we have it so in linux there is one most famous uh, or most popular file which is a etc password file when you run this uh, command etc password it will show all the usernames created when you have installed the linux right inside your inner and you can see here my Inderjeet, which is currently I'm logged in with the Inderjeet username. This is a normal user. It is always showing up here. But if you see here, there are a lot of username is also available, which is not for the login purposes. Why and how we can det detect that? Because it's a uh, lower than thousand. So if it is a lower than thousand, it is a system user. You can see this is a system ID of. This is a UID of the username. So this is a user id unique id and this is a group id in similar way inderjeet is a 1002 which is a greater than 1000 and this is a normal user and this is a group id even you can simply type id let me first clear and simply type id if you logged in with the current user it will show the uid of the inderjeet that you have the current username and then this is a group ID. So group ID is nothing is group is like a user and groups like you can create multiple user inside the groups and they uh, you can uh, mention the group ID same similar group ID for multiple users. And if this basically used when you are giving the permissions for particular files or directories, then you can basically have the groups and you can mention that uh, every username will get these uh, permissions so this is the basic thing and uh, when the user is created there is a password created so also for that and all the password is stored in the shadow file which is most famous for the hackers also so when you run this thing 
it's showing the permission denied because it's a uh, security purposes so you can give the sudo for uh login it <laughs> all right so now you can see the e in the sheet and this strings maybe you i'm not i mean we will not able to see the normal text that you have the password but this is for the security purpose this is the hashes and cipher text uh, which basically Linux is uh, storing the password in the databases. So this is how you can check the usernames, how many users you have it currently and uh, how to check the user ID and group IDs. Now let's see what is uh, also like uh, when you are creating a username, I think if you haven't watched the Linux file management field, file system video that I created last week then probably you will not able to understand but just for a brief introduction when any username has been created their home directory has been created for that so it is under the home when you basically ls the home directory it will show that how many users are there so currently like i'm in the i have only one username which is a normal user so here showing up so system user will not able to show here because it it's not for a uh, login purpose or something else it's just for the special task in the background all right now let's see how to create a username in linux so first of all you have to mention the command called user add or even you can use a add user so both have same meaning so you have to use a sudo because creating a user it's not a full permission you have to give the permission for that so sudo user add users then username so i'm creating my new username when you just hit enter it will ask for the new password of course for the security purposes let me set up the password all right now it will ask for more details i'm just putting up hit enter now putting up yes so now let's see if it is created so if it is created then probably we have the home directory for particular this user so when you type this ls and home it will show up here infosec so we have set up the password for the new user and we have created the user and also let's see if it is showing up in the password sheet um quickly just typing the username all right so now you can see the unique id which is this one so 1000 use i mean the 1000 is a uid for this infosec thing it's a unique id for the new user and this is basically you can also assign any user id if it is available in the linux and if it is not then it will basically uh, assign automatically from the pool that it is available right so this is how you can create a username but if you want to change the password again suppose if uh, you're giving this to somewhat somebody else that uh, needs to be logged in he probably need to change the password for that you need to mention the sudo password and the username and make sure put put uh, the correct username okay now it is asking for the new password so i'm setting up quickly all right the password has been changed let's try to log in to this new user for that you have to use a su for switching the user and mention the username so now you see here it's asking for the password again why because we have set up the password and you do not have to put the password for that you are using for the in the sheet you have to put for the infosec set so let me see if i am able to log in okay i think i put the wrong password i n d e -R. all right now i am able to log in it here right so this is how you can create a password also and uh, you can how to change the username from the same linux all right now let's go back again i want to delete a username uh, i want to delete the uh, username that i just recently created for that you have to use user delete or user del and then hyphen or you can simply type the username so i uh, let me show you what i what i what i mean for that if you type the username only right 
it will delete the username and the username password from the etc password sheet and from the uh, uh from the uh shadow file right but again when you are creating a username it created the home directory so but if you are not going to mention here if you're just running this command sudo sudo user del, del and then your username it will only delete the username but it will not going to delete the home directory of this particular user so if i hit enter let me show if the home directory has been deleted or not all right maybe you are asking why it is not deleting automatically right so the reason why it is not deleting the simple answer is for storing the backup for the username you can mention you can mention that for if you want to delete it but for security purpose that suppose if admin admin user or the root user want to access the uh the data that is the use data for the non-users also right so for that it it is not deleting by default you have to mention that so let's first of all i'm let me go back one directory we have to let me delete this thing I'm deleting if you just delete if you're trying to delete with rmtir it will say that you do not have the permission so if you try to give sudo even it will say that this directory is not empty and you can delete it by running this rm then hyphen r the username now yes i just want to delete okay sorry i haven't mentioned the sudo so this is a username directory now you can see i have deleted suppose i'm just creating a one you more user right so i'm typing again add user test this is a new user i'm creating it and when you hit enter it will ask for the new password i'm setting up quickly so let's see if it is created a home directory yes so it is created a home directory right but now i want to delete this user with home directory also for that simply type user delete and you have to mention hyphen r for deleting the home directory also or even you can check this uh, all parameter when you type hyphen h or maybe you can simply type help won't show up but not not a problem you will see here all right for removing the home directory user home directory you have to use hyphen r all right so let's see so i'm deleting the home directory also my username is test so when i hit enter it will delete the home directory and the username also so let's see if we have this test user existed no so it's gone so even if we type the test user uh if you try to access the uid for this particular user which is which is not existed it will show there is no such as user all right this is how you can create a username and delete the passwords and even you have to create a new username uh, with the new passwords also right but this is the last part of this video which is very important and this is my favorite because this is how you can create and modify the user's username which is already existed for that simply type let's create a first user so i'm again creating a uh i'm using an add user now command so when you are using add user command it won't ask you to set up a password it will be basically for a, a low level command which basically create a username very quickly so let's see if we have this uh, uh username yeah so we have the new username which is a new user id with new user group id all right so let's set up a password quickly for that simply type password for this test all right all right now we have set up the password okay now i want to put a comments what is a comments comments is basically uh identify or it's used to help to understand what kind of username it is so i can show you again so 
if you run this cat etc password where all the username is existed some of the username has the commands like this one this is a system users how we able to identify with the uid uid is uh, less than thousand so this is the system ids and they have mentioned that this user id for the system it is for genome display manager so this is a commands basically identify how to uh how what kind of this username is doing what what kind of work okay so how you can add the commands for the particular users so simply type user mode so for any modification in the existing username you have to type user mode so now i have c for putting up the commands typing this is test user and i have to mention the username for that now if you see let me grab the test user only now you can see this is a test user which basically having this uh, uid and this is a command now let's see uh, the home directory currently we have this one right so if you want to change the home directory from test to any another one to make sure that uh, when like normally it is created with the same name when you're creating the username test it will create the same user user directory right so let's change this directory name also so if you type sudo su mod and d d for changing the directory for this particular user i have to mention the entire path so test user i'm just typing test user simply all right now let's see you can see here the username has been gone i mean it is changed sorry so <laughs> this is how you can change the directories also you can simply modify an existing user now let's see suppose if you want to change the username like suppose i have test i want to change this username probably how you can do that simply again use the same command user mode and then mention hyphen small i small l sorry not a i then you have to mention the new user which is in uh, i'm typing anything like test user then you have to mention the old user which you want to change it right so when you hit enter now let's see if it is changed now you can see the username has been gone and it is changed with the test user even if you just type id test it won't show up because the username has been changed. but if you type test user it will show up here this is how you can uh, change the username and the one of the mo most uh, famous and most favorite command for me is locking the user suppose you want to lock any username suppose somebody is leaving the company and you want to lock that account simply type sudo user mode and hyphen capital i then username so it i think it is changed now so so this hyphen l uh, capital l will basically lock the username so if that particular user trying to log in into the system let me show you it will uh, it won't be able to log in so password i think i set up test the permission has been denied so this is how you can lock this uh, username any but if you want to unlock the username and for that you simply type hyphen u capital u make sure and then mention the username so if you if i'm trying to log in it again okay now i can able to log in this is how you can able to log in into the system Alright, so this is how you can create and manage the Linux user password and the usernames. And I think this is enough for understanding uh, for the basic to advanced even. So in the next video, we will discuss about the Linux permissions, the Linux file permission and the directory permissions. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will get the new notification when I'm going to upload it.